Hello there and welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to share with you some tests that I've been doing over the last couple of weeks and specifically tests on the here link digital FPV system from the guys over at ProfiCNC and Hex because I kept getting questions about what is the range like so I had to come up with an idea of testing this system without getting myself into hot water because there are laws in the UK around how far you can fly so I decided to come up with some tests that allowed me to demonstrate the range whilst remaining legal. Now, before I get into this, I just want to say a big thank you to the guys over at 3DXR in the UK. They have supplied me this to have a play with to be able to show you guys. I would not have been able to do any of these videos without their support on this. So if you are looking for the healing system when it is fully released, or you're looking for a Pixhawk 2.1, please do go check them out. There's a link to 3DXR in the description of this video. They're a fantastic dealer and they really, really do do know their stuff on the Pixhawk, the Cube and the Hewling system as well. Now let's get on with the rest of this video. As you can see I have a very weird looking contraption in front of me. This is the test rig that I built to be able to show you guys how well this worked because as I said I cannot just strap this to an aircraft and fly it as far as I want because there are issues with that. So I decided to do a series of tests over high cliff tops, over water and beaches and the idea is that that would give me a nice clear line of sight, a good altitude for the base station to be able to give you guys some realistic figures on the range. Now this setup has the antennas on the top here in a vertical position. We then have the Hewlink ear system mounted in the middle and you can see a full pixel cube in the bottom here. Now the reason I have a cube mounted to it is I wanted to demonstrate it in full use. That was with telemetry data and video. So the idea is I've got the cube mounted at the bottom with a GPS antenna and the power supply as well and then we have the here link at the top with the antennas mounted on the top of the arms. I then have the ability to mount my camera on the top and either mount my GH5 which I'm recording this on or my GoPro via either of the HDMI inputs. Now in the rest of this video I'm going to share with you how I did my tests, what I did and the results that I got and overall I have to say I am extremely impressed with this system. Before I uh, spoil any more I'll let you guys see for yourself. For my first set of tests I found an area that gave me about a 10 kilometer 6 mile length across the coastline. So what I did was set the tripod with the system mounted up on a cliff edge about 25 meters above sea level and the idea was to transmit all the way down the coastline and test it at various points. Now one of the interesting things I found was when I got back down to the car after setting it up I was still getting full HD video signal and the interesting thing about this was this was at sea level behind a hill behind a load of houses but I was still able to get full HD video at this point here. Now there is no line of sight on this bit at all it is literally the other side of a hill and a meter or so above sea level. I'm actually still getting video in the car park behind all this concrete buildings and everything which is crazily impressive actually so let's uh, let's get out and give it a proper test so for the first test I wanted to do a nice short run which was basically 1.26 kilometers and the idea was just to make sure everything was working as you would expect and I was just doing a straight cut across the coastline with line of sight um, wasn't expecting any issues and I didn't come across any either now on the days I was testing this it was absolutely crazy windy. Now as you will hear yourself the audio from this was pretty much unusable. However as you can see at this very short distance in range I had no problems picking up the signal whatsoever and it was working exactly as I expected. As this test continued I managed to get to the basic full distance I was able to use and that was the full 9.36 kilometers or 5.82 miles. When I got to the top end up the beach you can see I was able to still receive full HD video with no problems whatsoever. The system was still showing good signal and from here you can see I was actually pinched the ear system on that cliff in the back end. It was still giving full signal on the control, I still had full telemetry and it was working exactly as I expected it to do. Now at this point I was extremely impressed with the system but I also realized that I had actually run out of space and I wasn't able to demonstrate how far it was capable of by using this location. So I had to think and go back to the drawing board and come up with one more idea. 
And that I do was this by placing the air station on the edge of this peninsula over here and then standing in the same position that I was before on the beach and testing if I could get the range over that massive distance across open sea. On another place test in the Hue Link and we are getting HD video virtually 10 miles across in that bay. It's about 9.8 miles roughly. I'll do the calculations later. But I've got my GH5 set up with my GoPro. See the GoPro on the end there with the healing system. On my test rig again and we're up on the mountain and well the hill and we're getting it as I said on that beach which is right over there. And as you can see, it was still working. At virtually 16 kilometers or 10 miles, I was still able to get full HD live video. Now, to be able to do this, I stayed with the air system up on that peninsula, and I had to convince the wife to actually go over to the other side with the ground station. But as you can see, it was still working, it was still giving me live video, signal was still showing very, very good as well. Now, looking over, just to give you an idea, this is set up on that peninsula right where that arrow is over there. An absolutely insane distance. I've never used a digital FPV system that's given this kind of range, yet the Hulink system was able to do it. Now, as I said, I had it set up on that peninsula, as you can see, with a little hut on the top and I had it on the tripod exactly the same as I had it before. Okay and that's pretty much it for this video. Some things I just want to touch on before I end it. Um, this system was entirely in factory default settings when I did these range tests. I changed absolutely nothing. The antennas you should be aware should always be with the left hand antenna in the vertical position and the right hand antenna pointing at your antennas on your ear system. So you don't want it up like that, you want it pointing at the system that you're using. With regards to the ear side antennas, you do want them basically vertical. You can have a slight angle on them. I actually was going to do it with a bit more of an angle but the guys over at Profi actually said no go virtually vertical with the antennas and that will get you your best possible range. Now with all of these tests with all of these things these tests are what I have found myself. Other people will get different results. As I've said, these tests are not perfect. They are over a cliff, they are over water, but they do demonstrate that this system is well capable of over 16 kilometers. They state it can do up to 20. I 100% believe that. Everything I have seen so far shows that this system is capable of that kind of range. Now, they're not perfect, these tests, and I'm not going to pretend they are, but for me, they do show that this system has some absolutely fantastic capabilities, especially paired with the Pixel 2.1. Um, hopefully, very soon, there will be a very big firmware update out for this. As I did mention, this still is in its beta stage, so this is not a final product at this moment in time. I'm really grateful to the guys over at 3DXR for getting this over to me to have a look at. If I've still got it when that new firmware releases with Solex very soon, I will try try and do a video on that as soon as I possibly can and show you guys the differences. Um, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, please do subscribe to the channel and I will do another video again soon.